Uh huh. What do we have here? Blue leather gloves. I feel like I'm getting too much gear. Or what? I mean, am I playing Harry Potter or am I playing fucking Diablo? Or what is this chest? Why can't I open this? Rebellion. He doesn't like me very much, I think. Alright. Maybe in the future, I will be back. Hang on. Okay, I'm up here. Aha! Akio! Forty-seven dollars. All right. Next up is how did I do my little compass thingy? If it wasn't for my arrest, I'd get the Doesn't work. I tried to be. Uh, Mm, Ollivanders, here we go. Chest. Blooming beard. Uh, hello. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Sir, I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course, you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name, but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. <laughs> Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish, swish, and flick. Hmm. How get me a sandwich. Yeah. No, Corson. Really I said get me a sandwich. Okay. <laughs> well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find you something not to worry. Corson was never the same no, after beating you, the uh... juicer. His anger had already evolved Perhaps. too far. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Swiss and flick. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Should I try it out first? Crooked spiral, dark grey, wood time bitch, unicorn hair, unyielding, 11 inches. Okay. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Honey Brown. How intriguing. Hmm. 
Which one should I take? Curious indeed. How intriguing. I take this one. Or this one. Curious this one. indeed. This one. Wood type. How intriguing. You redwood bro. I have no fucking idea. Curious indeed. Four and a half inches. It doesn't even change. So in the 19th change. century era we had Hardy, an Asian's teachers, along with various students. Coming from Uganda, to be wizard. Wowzers! I didn't know Hogwarts was so diverse. So why is it that when Dumbledore took over Vero was mostly white? you're talking about have you not watched the movies huh very diverse curious indeed I I have no idea it doesn't change at all no matter what uh, dragon heartstring that serves as the core of one known for producing powerful magic the hair of a unicorn that serves as the Core of the one known for producing consistent magic. Okay, uh, the feather of phoenix that serves as core one capable of producing a great range of magic. Ooh. Okay, so power, consistency, a great range of magic, not a great range with your magic. Two different things, I suppose. Uh, power overwhelming. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. I take the dragon heartstring. What do you think? First one. Whatever I pick is the best one. Whatever ending I get is the best ending. Have you not learned by now, chat? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. No further chests. Uh huh, I see some motherfucking flying book over here. Uh, Alright, uh, visit uh, J. Pippin's potion. Oh, I love them in the Lord of the Rings. Quality village. Right. Mm. Get out of my goddamn way. Don't make me open my map. Pippin's potions. 
Wow, it's a, it's a sign flipper advertiser. Oh, Welcome to J. Pippin's Pudding. Yeah. Thanks for your tips. So you're gonna rob your store first. Blue four eye spectacles. Missing so many chests. Do you always play on the easiest difficulty, mate? Huh? Or do you sometimes not overlevel your shit? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though. I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. Your it's face? I'm in Hogsmeade, actually. Is All it right. really? Well, Parry Pippin and fellow Irishman. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. I think it sells but for now, idea. let's get you those recipes, shall we? So what can good. I do for you today? I would like uh, a Durus potion recipe. That causes a rocket film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Wiganwell potion. Recipe for healing potion. Oh, I have some of those flies. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Amogus potion. Or come back another at, time uh, if you're in a rush today. Monka S. Alright, thank you very much. I'm gonna have a look at Rebellion. your little lab here. Probably doing the crystal meth. Alright, nothing here. And finally, a magic neep. Magic neep. Aye. Magic, magic neep. Magic neep. Aha, uh -huh. behind me. But first, I kill! Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, give me this fucking uh, teleport thingy. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Sorry for what Dumbledore taught us not to be ashamed of our wants. Well, especially there. since they're such good size and all. Yeah, I see that. Dumbledore gave you good advice. It gets bitter when I cast a spell. This card belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Knee Pins. He's enjoying, he enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Oh, so it's you. Hello! Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. 
Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has <laughs> the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. Do you have the My guard speciality seed? is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Dittany seeds. All right. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Fertilizer. Well, All right, I'm not everything. spending any more money. Better go and right. find Natty. Now, we just need the uh, fire resistant potions. Don't smash it. Hey, don't smash it. Yeah. <laughs> Level. Three law. Hey. Okay. Fuck. Where do you go? Ah. Fuck, not you again. Useless. Bloody useless. Rebellion. Aha. Sonko's joke shop. Frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike. Sonko's is the place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. Oh. Full face. Dead. Red first quality surprise can and this will be by Anderson Road bewildering can of mystery. The fuck did I yet? Oh, it's different every time. Don't push. Push it. Dung bomb. Favorite among pranks. The dung bomb produces a foul odor, causing anyone in the vicinity to wake up taste. No, Chad, it says don't push. Slytherin, alright, and fucking ban the list. Alright. Meet Natty at the town circle. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. What's happening? 
troll in the Hulk's League! Magic throw! What was that? I don't know why they would put that on the Zap. I like it! Do more of it! Alright, enjoy your life! I think I wasted all my stun traits here. Why you wanted me to use a controller? These fucking controls are terrible. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you alright? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. Oh. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Bazinga. All right. Uh, Let me let's up. Okay. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Lego. Prepare. Okay, I need to change. Uh, I'm not gonna change the controller because uh, it's kind of like aiming. Uh, it's the shit part of the controller. There's better controls for dodging and parrying, but... 
All right, was that all? Uh, I need a I need a good control here. Uh... Okay. All right, let's see here. Uh... Show controls on Q? Q is... Oh wait, is there a certain fighting one? On foot. Where do I have... Fighting. Spells and actions. Protego! Okay. Uh, I would like, I would like, what would I like? I would like to fucking roll on spacebar, but I'm jumping on spacebar. Fuck. So many uh, keybinds. Uh, yeah, what the fuck is this though? What is this? X. Wasn't it Z? Use mouse four. What is mouse four? Is the thumb button? Uh, fuck. Ah, uh, maybe I should use a controller actually. Maybe I should use a controller. It's just nah, fuck it. Okay, I, I want to roll on E. Is E for anything? Nah, rolling on E is terrible. Fuck. It's all terrible. Shift. Controller is way better. Left alt roll. Yeah, that's a fucking witcher shit, man. Fuck. Mouse side buttons. Uh, potato. Okay, I can try the controller. No, fuck it. Uh... Nah, fuck it. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it. Or? Nah, fuck it. Or? Then I get more Dark Souls, right? If I do the controller. I get more Dark Souls if I do the controller. Ah, uh, uh, but then I don't get the aiming part. Ah, okay, fine, 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 fine. Uh, okay. Uh, control is terrible, though. Or is it terrible? Probably terrible. I like spacebar. I just put it on spacebar. And then I put control on jump. Right? Is that is that clutch? Where's jump? Where's jump? Control. Protego, I don't like it that much on but I don't like using thumb buttons either. You lock on? What you lock on? Oh, you mean for no aiming part? Uh, 
Okay. Alright, we're fine. I'm gonna use the thumb button for Protego. Or am I? Fuck, why can't I never decide these things? I never play these kind of games on PC, really. Protego. Alright. Indecisives. Yes, I'm very indecisive right now. It's fine. We got it now. We got it now. There you go, and then some rolling and jumping and rolling and jumping. Hengist of Woodcroft. The statue is of Hufflepuff's Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from his home by muggle persecutors. Well, not much of a statue, but fix it. Very nice. All right. Speak to the shopkeeper. Oh. Shit. I get XP for these. Gladys wizard wear. Ah, oh, this is some cosmetic shit. We were just talking about you. Talking shit about me, Augustus Hill, huh? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. White male, monkers. But is he straight? Being the, uh, fashion connoisseur. Hmm? Marcio, thank you for the 300 bits. Free top G. Now losers mauled in chat. The fuck? Buzzgare in a dirty lake. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's Hello. very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? I only Plenty have your powerful today. Take your time. Well appointed. I already know this. <laughs> Just saying. You want me to equip? Uh, which one? Which one was it I got? Double traditional school robe. Bro, downgrade. Idiota. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I, even I need to equip my other stuff again. You're trying to scam me. Now we're talking. Oh, the three broomsticks. The I heard so much about that place. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Likes me. Uh Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. 
Motherfucker was following me. It's a fucking shapeshifter. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Anrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Where the fuck Quickly, is... Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Victor Rookwood. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> uh, uh, how timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. And who is this guy? Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Oh, you haven't seen my chat. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I'm asking who the victor guy is. No one explained that so far in this entire thing. Did you say... Currently run by Serona Ryan and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, the Tree Music is a long standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. Rebellion. 
my fucking page is at. Blue solar protection goggles. But I do think you're getting a little bit too much gear though. Uh, no upgrades applied. Wait, does this mean that this has a socket on it? Oh, it has a socket on it. But I don't have anything for it. So I, I'm better off taking this. For now! I don't know how to apply sockets, but... I'm guessing they will teach me! I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. You must return to your government overnight, Axe the map. I slick the Hogwarts map button to switch to Hogwarts. All right, just leave her there. Alka Vyers, even for five years, for some badges, for some, for some badges. Enjoy your new badge, sir. Thank you very much. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. This way. Muggle school, is so dull to Muggle school is so dull compared to Hogwarts. You have received an old post. Old post? Oh shit, no. Professor Fig, come and see me. I discovered something in the locket. We found it, Gringotts. <gasps> Show me the money. Pavelio. Again, I bet there's one of those uh, flying things here. Fuck. These fucking pages, man. I'll find you. This? That's cheese. And this? That's also cheese. How do I. Rebellion. No clue. Clueless. Press one. Oh shit. By the light. Okay. And then what?
Press two. <laughs> Fucking moggles in chat. Moggles, that's not it. Those are Final Fantasy creatures. Moggles. Black noticed the scuff on his shoe the other day and would not take another step until a house elf polished it away for him. I have to go up there. Crucio, some first year students. This fucking chat is permanent Crucio for my eyes. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will be they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nicholas Black. Nigelus, I suppose. <laughs> I'm not naked. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. They still have Ranrock to explain was in Hogsmeade Victor, guys. with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. The restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. All right. The locket secret. What secrets does this chamber hold? Lots of spinning things. Some sort of second place loser. Oops. Rebellion. Mm -hmm. Which one of you took a shake without flushing? Disgusting! What the fuck? There's cooking meth in here too. Did someone take your shite in this one? Oh! 
In mid, so you can look over this one. Well, watch the god gamer in action. And uh, now you're in there, puppet. Mm. There's no one in here. Where would it be locked, huh? You win this one. Rebellion. Professor Hecat. Uh, bro, I can't see three D man. Here. I got it, chat. I got it. Baby, she's got it. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. My lady. Ah, I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, Come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. All right. You know where to find me once you've finished. That's pretty far. Where is that? Seems crossed once isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Uh, I don't suppose I have a fast travel for that, Mamacita. Or do I? Fast travel. Win two rounds of crossed wands. Crossed wands? I thought that was something else. Rebellion. Is it showing me the right direction here? I guess. There are two parts of this quest. Some tasks. No, a shortcut. Okay, jumping on control is kind of cancer. places around the school for Zenobia's gobstone. Wrong way? What you talking about, Wallace? What is this? Ah! Fucker. Why, I had, had the other quest selected. Um... Okay, I have this one here. Aha. Uh -huh. Now who's dumb chat? Dig B Divi. Thank you for one year. Surprise. Huh, ah, see what they did there. Very creative, very clever, huh? Maybe you should get accepted into Hogwarts Academy of Witches and Bitches. Uh, yes. 
Sebastian told me to see you about a club. Ah, if Sebastian fuck. vouches for you, Wrong quest. that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Uh, yeah, that's nice to hear. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? I'm most certainly interested. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, can you step alone. into the ring? Fucking what, mate? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Break through yellow shields with control spells like a levitation spell of you so. Am I defeated? Yes, don't what? Me out yet. Brilliant. I got one shotted by some shit. The fuck? There goes my wager. I, I rebounded! Okay, I'm fucking pushing this Is that all you've got? You're better than that! Victory! I could never duel like that. For the horde. Nice work! Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Crossed Ones. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Thank See you, you back here again. But uh, we are most certainly. We are most certainly using a control right here. Uh, I don't know, but this is too much cancer for me. Uh, fuck. I hope this is not the camera now. I mean... It's just so cancer. Okay, okay. Fucking... I have to replug stuff. For the controller, and I uh, guess I don't have any slots on my phone. Protego, right. Protego, 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 rolling, rolling, Protego, Protego.
Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Yes. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Uh, sure. Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. She's nutty. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Three versus two. The hell? Revenge first with like so many charm. Ah, see Don't smash it. They don't smash yeah. it. Uh, what was that? Oh. I have a hard time with you. Shut Catch the fuck again. up, man. I these controls are really hard. I'll me, give it to Because I changed them and I didn't need this. And keep pressing. Okay, it's fine. We will after this we will learn it. Okay. I just wait for my thingy to come back. Damn damage for golf. I, I, I can. Help! Do the thing. Saving the potions, yes. I keep pressing the wrong button, man. It's not my fault. Perhaps one day I'll sign up for a round. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Alright, fuck it. I go back to default settings. Fuck it. I can use it. I'm fucking... How do I default? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Hello, Lucan. Was there another round? May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Training dummy. Does it look like Actually, I need a training dummy? Actually, I might come dummy? back later. Suit yourself. I'll be around when you're ready. No, 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 no. Okay. Um. We're going... Oh, I have to do it. 
Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay. Yeah. What is this? Oh, basic. That's it. Oh shit. Oh shit. They see me rolling. They hate it. I said that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. All right. Assignment's all finished. Uh-huh. And how does this work? Let's go back and learn Incendio. Uh, is this map a little confusing or no? Of course not, only for muggles. Uh, what? It's his name. Thank you for the two years. It says um, Arctic Pigeon. Welcome, Lego enthusiast. Bass playing hobo. Come back. Mm -hmm. I trust mm -hmm. Mr. Brattleby mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. It's a closey one. Incendio! Secrets of the restricted section. You learned enough spells that you have something to your spell set. To do this, you need to swap it with a different spell. Good work! Uh... Yes, of course. The fire rises. Getting it. Keep at it, and do try not to incinerate yourself. Short range. Very much, Professor. But I gotta get. What the fuck? 
Ah. So very confusing. It's true what they say. All the rooms keeps changing in Hogwarts. Minimap. I'm not using controller now. I should have. I should have listened to him. No, it's too late. This was the most important thing I've done so far. Let's go. you up to now Let me also. ah there you are I was just sleeping here until he came what <laughs> the fuck hello sir you'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with professor Hecate so I hear. She Defensive tells me you've taken magic. rather well to your new wand. You must blast. continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Uh oh. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. He's in trouble now. I saw some fucking. Hey, what is this? It's fucking Chewbacca. Powerful magic shields, this monkey. mentioned sneaking into the restricted section perhaps he'll have an idea we need the invisibility cloak I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Uh. Seems he's working with I just Ranrock. want to know who the fuck Victor Ranrock is after Rookwood something is. I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. port key to Gringotts. I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. 
Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Alright. Let's sneak. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Spells are free. I like the sound of that. This illusionment. All right, how do I try it? Oops. I gotta put it on my bar, yeah? Uh, like so. Okay. Oh shit. Never adver adversaries will sense. Investigate. Okay. I played a video game before. You're so fucking dumb. Sure, they won't notice me opening the door. Fast. Librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Uh... You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be alright. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Uh, why do we need a key? Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Homora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't Why worry. don't they just cast anti get you I always charms keep my on word. everything? Trust me. They some kind of stupid, huh? What the? is someone there? The key. Here it is. Dude, it's bombing the fucking library. Ooh. Twenty-seven dollars. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now to find that book. It looks like a legendary book. Legendary chest. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Use basic cast while undetected to lure authority figures enemies to a disabilication. All right. 
ghost. Don't let her see you. Who? What fucking ghost? Oh. Ha! JK rolling. Sherry, wandering at this hour. That was unlucky. To loot this again? No. Silent as a grave. Got it. Ghost. I really want that treasure. I don't think she's falling. Ah! It's not safe for young mortals. She fucking baited me. Basic spells to distract. Shut the fuck up. There's nothing to use it on here. I can't just use it like this. Oh, oh shit. Fucking hitboxes. Surely no one's wandering about in here at this hour. Wandering the restricted section at this hour. What is happening? How is she seeing me from so far away? Do I have to stand still? I fucking hate stealth. She has eyes. She literally does Ghost. not have eyes. She's, a, she's fucking dead. Get this chest when I get the Should fucking the ghost busters, so. though. Need for us to be skulking about. Pavilia. So, what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Navigator scarf, another one. 
six offense. Holy shit. No need to stealth anymore. Says you. How am I supposed to know if there are more ghosts here? They're invisible. See, I would never have uh, gotten this now unless I stayed still. Motherfucker. I understand now. There was something fishy with this stuff. Rebellion. Botanical bronze leaf. Who have ah. we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught. Peeves. Don't I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted peeves! I've got to stop him, or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Don't get in trouble. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides. I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. I don't have it on my board. Reparo. Repair it. Where are these goddamn scrolls, man? Huh. Of course, traces of ancient magic. Here we go, into the dungeon. Monka ass. Ooh, legendary. Asylum mask. Uh oh. Tell me about Oompa Loompa. Why does he wear the mask? <laughs> Where might this lead? The mask, the mercenary. Pain. Hey, Nixie 93, they were 98 months. Welcome back. Protagonist, the Rook and Dodamir. Thank you, boys. Skirts, potentially. Reparo! Repair. Fuck, I saw that in a movie once. Rebellion. Uh huh. Retardo Patronum! Not surprising. Guards at the ready. X. That's kind of OP. Let's 
you're willing to get put to the test. Your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Successful 10 hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power ups. Collecting these will greatly fill your ancient magic meter and cover smaller than all right. When at least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full, you can dance any many Yes, I tried that and it worked out greatly. Thank you very much for teaching me that. Post action. Rebellion. I incendioed him to hell. Oh. I don't know what you want from me. I don't think I have what you need. Fucking try to kill me. Alright, so is there like a thing here or what? Because I can't see it. Maybe it's for later. This must be the way forward. But to where? Is there actually something or are you trolling me now? There's nothing on my Revelio. Invisible bridge. Then that would be revealed. Oh. <laughs> Your gear slots are full, you can select. What? Oh my god, my arch nemesis has arrived. Inventory management. Uh, ex explain to me what I'm supposed to do with five fucking inventory slots. I'm throwing this out. Destroy. Gold rimmed circular spectacles. All this for a fucking shite? I need inventory slots. Uh, Eleven. I have a legendary rare. Surely I can buy inventory slots, yeah? Or uh, backpack upgrades. You got a better chest piece? Oh, right. This one is extraordinaire, but it is... Huh? Explain this to me. This is level 7, that's why. Uh 
Revelia. about me okay I want that one but I don't understand how you have like no fucking inventory space at all this early on I didn't even loot everything I could loot sell it yeah man I didn't know fucking what the fuck I have to, I have to destroy it now I have to destroy it forever. Permanently destroyed. Destroy this fucking scarf. Fast travel back. Bro, my immersion. I'm in this fucking dungeon now. Uh, what was that? It was a downgrade, no matter what it was. I like how they put like, I like how they put this fucking asylum mask at the start of this dungeon, absolutely for free, right out there in the open, no requirements whatsoever, and then every fucking headpiece you get in this dungeon is just straight up 10 times worse than that one, like what the fuck, oh it's RNG! Oh my god! So I am the masked mercenary after all. Oh shit! And this file. Okay, so I shouldn't pick up anything that's grey. Is this a fucking shooter looter? Is that what I'm playing right now? Six. Yes? Okay. I'm just gonna destroy. Twilight Cloak 48. Uh, level 8. Alright. Very good. Uh, this looks dangerous. Alright, let them come. Who's next? You decide! I'm the Twitch Argument of History! Why am I aggroing the ones who aren't even fighting? Oh, fuck this crap. Potato! Fire me. <laughs> Journalist difficulty. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, motherfucker. Alright. Come here talking shit without any facts, huh? Fucking bitch ass man. It is a book after all. It just looks like journalist difficulty when I'm playing it because I'm so goddamn good. So fucking amazing in video games. That's not memories.
still got Corona though. Wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sure does she won't. The camp is a bit darker. Uh, yes, I have a little, little bit less light on, I guess. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, Snitch. I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Don't smash it. Okay? Don't smash it. Fucking peace. Alright, am I, uh... Wait, do I have a stealth out of here? Or are they gone? They're gone. We're They're there. gone, though! Coast is clear. Fast travel, unlock. Boom. Fucking scroll I can never find. Annoying. Check. Sell gear. It's the middle of the night. Incendio. Oops, that's not the one I wanted to use. I'm so sorry. Uh, fuck. Oh, I have it already. Very nice. Eight out of eight. Wow. Okay. Wait. Do I want to uh, Hogsmeade? Uh, do I get the same amount of money? 
regardless of selling place. All right. All right. But bro, I found a lot of legendaries then, huh? I thought everything was set. Set in stone. Uh, I'm gonna go here. Hello. The only place I can't sell. Right? Pog. Fucking locked. You can sell anywhere. No one there. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. All right, I want to sell these. Very good. These never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. These. Legendary. I sell it. Sell. Sell. Uh, sell. 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 Wait, these weren't all the items. No way. 20? I didn't sell 15 items or whatever. Did I? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Oops. Oh, what wait. can I do for you today? This means that I mind you don't knock my potions. Don't have them. Definitely you can I, afford to replace them. Uh, this is not equipped. This means I don't have them. The the level requirement. All right. Uh, do we want to buy I hope something? To see you again. No. Save You're our money for, for Hogwarts Legacy Two. Uh, okay, Hogwarts map. Oh no! I should have claimed my rewards. Maybe I got gear that I could sell from the rewards. Where did I see that again? Challenges. Blue. Fuck you. Fuck you. These are shit, right? Or can they be good, maybe? Oh, fuck. They are good. No, it's the exact same. Oh, it's cosmetic. Cosmetic! Okay. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Little Snape. Wog? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, 
dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Wasn't me. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Of course. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Four out of four. Uh... Well, you get so much gear. Legendary cape. Uh, and these are uh, these are just uh, cosmetic, yeah. Okay. These two, these two transmog it. What do you mean? I have exactly the look I want to have. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Alright, I'll be right there. But first... Professor Weasley, have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Another defensive spell? Okay, uh, now you send an hour post requesting the meter in Hamlet. Yeah, I fucking know. Alright, rush me game, huh? Open world, let me play, no? South Hogwarts region. This is the world map, most of the map is covered by fog, let me know what you can see. Uh, Hamlets are small communities throughout the world. This is the hamlet, Lower Hogsfield. Alright, I guess I have to walk there. For now. Uh, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time navigating in this game. Map. Maybe I am just retardo patronum right now. Uh, I could have sworn I had some fireplaces here for fast traveling. Oh, I have to stand next to it. Or... Off on another adventure, are we? None of your business. Oh no, I have to press here. Okay. Sleep, he ramps up. Am I ye Bayrock Elder Wretch? Welcome back. 
Welcome back. You're not currently tracking anything. Uh, I want to track. Fuck it, we might as well do this first. Alright, her. Oh my god. Why is it not tracking? Track. Since we're here already. This cannot possibly be as difficult as. Revelio. Alright, fast travel. You're growing Pungus onion again. Alright, ch children. Time for another class. Good class. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see really? you again, Lenora dear. Professor oh, Garlic. Here. You'll need these for today's class. Come on. Um, um uh, a little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing bowl. Then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's Same protect our room. ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a Tug. How can you hear her? What is it? The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone! Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. Hmm, I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor? Firstly, not well really. done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Uh, I nearly went deaf. I'll say. I nearly you went deaf. You're this school. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. <laughs> I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Already. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? Damn, she's got a insta a resting bitch face. Mallow sweet leaves. I'll make my leaf. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. 
All right, let's grow. Ten minutes. Yield five. Can I get another pot? Oops. Well yes. done. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we? I mean, these fucking names, out, though. Introduce Come you to on. a different sort of flora. Professor the Sharp for the cabbage. Snape. You'll find that some plants are better Garlic. suited to uses outside the of a greenhouse cauldron. lady. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Uh, where was that book? Pavelia. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. Least creepy Gryffindor guy. Alright. Hang on. Um, I saw a book flying here. That was a butterfly. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian! And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Uh, no offense. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. There's no glory in a Don't point to the Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. Uh, now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Toss the cabbage? Toss the salad? Really? Okay, here we go. How do I equip it? Like this. Chinese chomping cabbage. Uh, Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Alright, that's pretty good. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My Summon kind of cuck. Not like Bro, stupid booba one, tubers and bouncing balls. These are one-time use. The kind of plants that have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could come in handy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Okay, Take Ron, let's I'll go. See you back in class. Can I pick this up again? No, it doesn't. Uh... Did I get every flower here for free? Rebellion. Aha. Uh -huh. This orange radish like fruit floats upside down as it grows. So I believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. 
Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Don't care much for plants, honestly. Thank you, Professor. But looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll I come to like see that the farmer. fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Alright, but uh, it seems kind of useful though. Planting stuff. Uh, is it real, real time minutes? Seems like it. 10 minutes for a plant. And the uh, rare ones probably have uh, like hours, right? Uh, Alright, let's see here. Potions class. Can't be late, mate. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, greenhouse tree. Situated at the center of Hogwarts greenhouse, this giant tree has a system of roots as deep reaching and a convoluted as the school's dungeon. Wow. Is this the house, the tree that kills everyone and shit outside later on? Potentially. No. Okay. Fake fan. Shut the fuck up. Ah, oh, shit. Class is in the dungeon, of course. It's Professor Sharp. Maybe Auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school. Professor Black would never allow us. She would make him look Professor Carr. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before Brown today's nose. class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. All right. Wigan Wheel potion. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Ah, Michael J. Fox. Ah. God cooker. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. 
For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. All right. Proficiency and potions are two things that cannot be... My parents considered keeping me home from school. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Uh, you heard correctly. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Weasley? Wait. Are you related Not to another Weasley. Weasley. She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect Charisma. that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh, helping out a Gryffindor. Uh, uh, pissing off Professor Sharp. All right, all right. I'll get you the Fwoopa Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwoopa Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Alright. Remember. Let's see here. Mongrel fur. That's a lot of mongrel fur for a potion, you say. Fwoopper Feather. Looks like an owl. Ashwinder eggs. Memorandum. Borgin and Bergs. Borgin and Bergs has an increase the amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more aurors to join those that have already been watching the shop. You're amongst the new additions. Oh shit. Remember that, Borgin and Birch. Which house am I in? Slytherin, of course. Fucking dumb muggle. Your potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the Fupa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Ajurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. All right. Should you chop the Dibney or crush it? The wrong uh, answer could result Adurus in the potion. Here we go. loss of your eyebrows. Uh, a potion that announces the drinker's defense the current number to do. Okay, so wait, I only have to wait 25 seconds. I thought I had to do some fucking quick time event fiesta. You can't escape. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! That's not... Dragonstar! What happened? <laughs> well done, Garen. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. <laughs> Sucker. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. 
his accomplice will answer to me as well. Wasn't me. I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Uh, I mean, double down? No, he's all knowing. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall Ooh. assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. You owe me, motherfucker. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. You got me into big trouble. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. You Leave me, me out of time. your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. All right. Battery chicken, oh, crazy penguin, effect B. Finger guns, pew pew. Yeah. Welcome back, welcome boys. I right, will learn something new every day, every class. Can you believe it? EU education. Uh, okay, now I am off to meet whatever her name is. Uh, Nutty. Nutty. Nutty Daddy. <laughs> Patient 413, please cease all use of commodities and report for counseling. You have 10 minutes remaining. Uh, there we go. There we go, Master Bruce. Alright. Ignore the voices. Incendium. This fire spell is ass. What are these balloons? Track quest. I know where I'm going, all right. And part of where I'm going is this Hagrid's cabin. No way, Jose. Oh my God. Keeper's tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sort of furnishing for a cozy hut as large as the occupant may need.
Hey. What did I get? It looked like a hat. Oh. Level 8. Extraordinary. Yes, please. Uh, wand handles. These are just cosmetic too, right? Robe. I'm level 8, so I can equip this one now. Very nice. Yes, okay. Alright, I'm looking for... Wait. I'm looking fucking swag now. Now I truly am the masked mercenary. I just need that jacket, proper jacket. I should change appearance. That's cheating. All right, well, uh, this is a good place to uh, to chill then for today, before this next quest, I would say. Uh, is it all the same? I assume, in the current year. But let's do it just in case. Three hours, huh? I played longer than three hours. What the fuck? What the heck, man? How do you like the game? Yeah, so far, so good. I don't really like shooter looters that much, but this is not really a shooter looter, even though they have like a similar gear system. Uh, 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 and it has it has an actual story that is not probably ass, right? Uh, DVD, Woodrow, Anomalies, and Paul Schaefer. Thank you, boys. Welcome back and welcome. I'm going to be peacing for today. Thank you guys for watching. Again, thanks for all the subs, resubs, donos, gifted subs, bitcoins, social credits. You know who you are. The ones that shall not be named. Uh, yes. Enjoy the rest of the evening, morning, afternoon, night, potentially. Depending on where you're from. And I will catch you on the next episode, which is tomorrow, alright? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.